Today, we're diving into some Japanese One Piece theories that aren't well known in the US. This video uncovers Usopp's talent as a captain, still unrevealed, the mysterious phenomenon of his lies turning into reality, and the profound bond he shares with Luffy. Stay tuned as we break down these hot topics from Japan in an easy to understand manner. If you find yourself pondering, could Usopp's lies actually be a form of foresight? Hit like and subscribe. And if you're amazed by Usopp's hidden captain-like qualities, drop a totally in the comments. Let's get started. Right off the bat, Luffy doesn't quite fit the bill of your typical pirate captain. He's openly declared that he's not interested in being great or dominant in any way. To Luffy, those he's helped or formed alliances with aren't just allies, they're friends standing on equal footing with him. Yet, within the Straw Hat crew, there exists a figure who, despite not being the captain, exudes a charismatic presence that endears him greatly to his comrades. Can you guess who it might be? Indeed, it's Usopp. Usopp seems to have many qualities that make him seem like a captain more than Luffy. He's always admired and followed by someone, isn't he? You can recall scenes where he's leading tough guys like Tamanegi, Ninjin, Paiman, Oimo, Kashi, and the Tontata tribe. There's even a line when he joins the crew saying, I'm the captain. So, he's often referred to as Captain Usopp. Luffy is like a captain among captains, while Usopp is more like a captain among crewmates. Their preferences for food, are also the complete opposite. Luffy loves meat, while Usopp prefers fish. And let's not forget the duel between Luffy and Usopp. Despite Luffy's reluctance to become a hero, there's a legendary hero aspect to Usopp that's quite the opposite. However, they also share some commonalities. The King Kong gun of Luffy, scaled up from king to god, becomes the Bayaran gun. Similarly, Usopp upgrades from King, Soji King, to God, God Usopp. In the world of One Piece, whenever rubber is involved, it's always Usopp at the center of the action. Usopp, with his trademark exclamation of, Usopp rubber band attack, is always ready to sling rubber bands at his foes. And did you know? In Wano country, there's even a statue erected in honor of Usopp's exploits. Interestingly, its name, Gomu Gomu, was actually a lie. Speaking of which, did you know the entrance fee to Wano Country's amusement park, Wano Land, is a whopping 30 million berries? Quite pricey, isn't it? It's worth noting that Luffy's initial bounty was also 30 million berries and the person reflected in Luffy's first wanted letter is Usopp. And of course, just like Luffy, Usopp's bounty eventually rose to 30 million berries. It's incredible how Usopp's tall tales have a knack for coming true, isn't it? After blurting out that a bounty of 30 million berries was at stake, a bounty of the same denomination was actually placed on Usopp. Usopp's fiction may turn out to be a reality. Usopp said, Pirates are attacking! And finally the pirates really attacked. I landed on a giant goldfish poo, he said. And such a place actually existed. The legendary moles, Miss Merry Christmas, and Dalmatian are real too. Usopp's foes are known for digging holes. Remember the land of the dwarves? Yep. That's Uso land. I've got 8,000 crew members. This Usopp lie might just become a reality. Now, back to the topic of Luffy and Usopp's relationship. Since Gear 2, Luffy has suffered significant consequences after battles. He might shrink, lose the ability to use hockey, or even age rapidly. Just like during the execution in Logitown, Luffy finds himself in a pinch once again. In Zo, Whole Cake Island, and Wano Country, Usopp hasn't been very active. But in the upcoming massive battle, 
with the Straw Hat Grand Fleet of 5,600 plus allies totaling 8,000, Usopp will take the lead. And perhaps he'll be the one to save Luffy. That's how all of Usopp's lies come true. The person who, despite being known as a liar, eventually comes true about everything is Usopp. But the opposite is also true. Yes, we're talking about none other than the legendary liar, Norland. Now, raise your hand if you've ever thought, huh? We already have the seasoned liar character, Usopp, so why introduce another liar like Norland? It feels a bit off, doesn't it? The Tontata tribe admired Norland. They admired Usopp, too. No plant nurtured by the Tontata can be left behind. Norland is a botanist, and Usopp was sent to the island of plants. You've got carnivorous plants like the Devil, and various others like Rafflesia and Sargasso thriving there. The Tontata believed that Uso land would save them, and sought help from the gods. And on the Sky Island, this god Usopp is made into a statue and praised, wearing clothes similar to Nika. Nika, he's the god of liberation. Usopp, in his idol form, resembles Nika not only in appearance, but also in spirit. He's the one who freed slaves from Sugar's toys. He's the divine, the god Usopp. In One Piece, there are many connections between Usopp and Eight. Usopp is often referred to in the Japanese comic strip as Usohachi. This is a Japanese term meaning 800 lies, or in other words, being full of lies. Usopp himself isn't shy of spinning tales, like claiming to have 8,000 followers. Even the title of chapter 25 in the manga was Uso 800, emphasizing the recurring theme of the number 8. Remember how Norlin was branded a liar 400 years ago? Now, who might have been the liar 800 years back? Within the story, it's depicted that Joy Boy 800 years ago, sent an apology letter to the mermaid princess. Now, what does sending an apology entail? Could it mean failing to keep a promise? Perhaps a broken engagement comes to mind, among other possibilities. Either way, Joy Boy ends up being labeled a liar. And then there's the revelation that the gum gum fruit was also a lie. The roots of this lying character stem from two main sources. Firstly, Usopp is inspired by the character of Pinocchio. A distinctive feature of Pinocchio is that his nose grows longer whenever he tells a lie. In the story of Pinocchio, there's a giant whale named Monstro that makes an appearance. In the world of One Piece, this whale is akin to Laboon. In the tale of Pinocchio, an old man named Geppetto gets swallowed by the whale and lives inside it. This scenario mirrors the role of Crocus in One Piece. Thus, the connection between Pinocchio and the whale has parallels to Usopp and Laboon. While Laboon is typically associated with Brook, there's a significant connection to Usopp as well. As a child, Usopp would falsely alarm villagers with cries of, Pirates are coming! This lie, however, held a deeper meaning. Usopp used to say, I love to dream, and Dad has come to take us back. This reflected his longing for the return of a ship someday. Similarly, Laboon has been waiting for the return of his companions. Usopp arguably understands Laboon's feelings better than anyone else. When Laboon finds out that the friend she's been waiting for, covered in scars, is actually Brooke, Usopp said happily, I want them to meet. Another character known for lying comes from the tales of Aesop. This character is the boy who cried wolf. He falsely alarmed the village by claiming a wolf was attacking the sheep. The ship Usopp sails on is named the Going Merry. As a child, Usopp and his friends played by chasing sheep. The name Usopp is derived from Aesop's fables. By changing one letter from Aesop, you get Usopp. Changing I to U gives us Usopp, 
and changing I to Y results in Yasop. Usopp's father's name also incorporates the number eight, making him Yasop. The term for Aesop's tales in English is fable. Read backwards, fable becomes Elbaf, which can be seen as the origin of the name Elbaf. Luffy and Usopp have made a pact to venture to Elbaf. They declared, let's head to Elbaf. We'll definitely make it there. Globally, there are four renowned collections of fairy tales. They are Aesop's Fables, the Brother Grimm's Fairy Tales, Charles Perrault's Tales, and Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales. Aesop's Fables are among these illustrious collections. Usopp is the one to defeat opponents with cheat-like abilities, even when Luffy and Zoro can't. Take Sugar, for example. Her powers were so overpowering that no one could defeat her. Yet, Usopp was the only one who managed to do so. Similarly, Perona possessed cheat-like powers that left everyone else helpless. But again, it was Usopp who defeated her. Usopp has a knack for taking down girls with special abilities that even Luffy can't handle. Sugar reminds me of Red Riding Hood in the Grimm's fairy tale. As for Peralt's tales, we have characters like Perona, a girl with cheat-like abilities that even Luffy couldn't defeat. Is there another girl with cheat-like abilities, or is she hiding behind a hint of Anderson's fairy tale? Sugar and Perona, these two characters are notable for wearing crowns. In the realm of Anderson's fairy tales, Imsama might be a key figure. The ugly duckling could symbolize the celestial dragons. Imsama has been portrayed with an envy towards beauty. It's anticipated that Usopp might follow his usual pattern and take down Imsama, a girl with cheat-like abilities that even Luffy can't defeat. That's all for today. Here on this channel, we post popular theories about One Piece from Japan. If you like One Piece, we would be happy if you could support us by subscribing to our channel and commenting. Thank you for watching till the end. See you in the next video.